Hello everyone, I'm with you from creativetradingsystem.com uh, making this video about Bitcoin. So let's get started. Uh, this is the month, uh, weekly chart I made on the 20, 28th February right, this year uh, showing this wave count one, two, three, and then uh, I thought it is going to be stopping this move or maybe these highs will stop this move and then we're going to drop for wave four around 30% of wave three, right? That's what happened usually. So uh, you can see that this one is also um, like uh, the other station, you know, uh, trade, trading view. And I was uh, testing that. So uh, you can see here that the same kind of, you know, same chart. Wave three went up here, a little bit uh, above this high. And then it dropped here to A, B. And then I said, well, wave four is still need to come down here in three waves usually. The ABC will come down here around 38% of wave uh, three, at least 38% here. So somewhere there, it will come down. So what happened, uh, this is start to come down slowly. And then I made this chart on uh, MT4 again, that you know from here, we're gonna come 38% for wave C and ending wave four. So what happened is coming down nicely. And then finally on, the 5th July, we came and we touched this uh, area here and finished with C, which is also finishing with 4. Now I made uh, the chart. After, obviously, wave 4 is finished, then we're supposed to go up for wave 5, right? So uh, I made this chart now that, okay, even though it's a very powerful candle to the downside, but I said, well, you know, the technically, it's supposed to be ending here and then go to the upside from here. So uh, going to the upside, the upside start to, uh, uh, the prices start to move to the upside. And then this was the first trade to the long side I had uh, from 62.048 to 63.563. Then uh, it started to dip a little bit again. Instead of going to the upside, it, it made the dip to this area, right? So this is another short trade uh, on the second, on the second, and then again made the turn uh, long side and this is the the long trade on the fifth right so this is what happened and on the ninth the next day i made this chart uh, not the next day but the ninth right fifth uh, oh after the, the the weekend right so this is the daily chart i says okay this is what happened all you know mumbo jumbo here up down up down couple of trades but I said, well, this is where four is here. And as long as we stay above 56, 554, we will go to the upside. So I start to go. And then you can see here uh, this much. Uh, this is uh, this is as of today. Right. So that happened. This is happened to this chart, uh, the daily chart I made on the nine. But in the in, in the meantime, the last week and this week. Let me show you, and you know, it's going to the upside, then how many trades I had. Uh, on the 9th, this is the one, the trade, this entry here from the 40-minute chart. And I was also showing that the bad pattern, if it fails, how it's going to go. This one going to the upside on the 9th, the second entry here. This is the third entry here on the 9th to the upside. Then 11th, it just dropped a little bit again, you know, dip here. It always does that, right? And then this is another one to the downside. And that was for uh, and another one on the 11th, right? So this is the last week. Now this week, again, uh, going to the upside. Uh, let me see where the, I have the trades. I think these are the ones, right? So on 14th, the game start again to the upside. Powerfully, it is going to the upside. Uh, this is the first trade from here to here. And this is the second one. Not the second one, sorry, this is a Parnazi. <laughs> and then this is the second one here from 660666 uh, and all the way here, right? Until today on 15th. Another one, another version is this from here, beautiful, uh, breaking this area and coming back, testing it 59600 and all the way to hitting this target of 62821. And I close it right here. And this is another one, not this, another one. this is a gold one. And this is uh, the next, the last, but the last one that I have, and still, no, I think I just closed it, right? So this is all the way here, and I think this is it. This is the the latest trade, right? 
But what's happening now to the daily chart, the daily chart was uh, uh, this one. Yeah. So this one was, uh, I, I showed you already. So it started to go to the upside. And so far, I think this is the latest that I recorded. And it is all the way. Um, what is the number right now? It's 64,776. And I'm not sure that, okay, yeah, yeah, some, somewhat that's the number and the target, obviously. Um, let me, let me see the, 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 the live chart here. You see this? This is uh, right now it's posting 64,598. And it is very close to 65,499. Maybe that would be the target. It is just above 63,861. Now, the weekly chart, how does it look like? This shows that, you know, we need to go all the way up. But if, are we going to go in a straight line? The power of these uh, powerful candle, daily candles, is just like, like this, right? So it may just not stop and then continue to go to the upside. That's why I'm holding this straight here right now. And uh, the weekly chart looks like this right now. Okay. So this is, you can see that uh, I just showed you this A, B, C. We came down here. I see, made the chart that we're going to make the turn right from there. So this week, like that, the next last week was like this, and then current week is still going to the upside powerfully, getting inside the uh, the, the the channel, and uh, let's see how far it goes. Uh, but uh, like I said, that we have to go a long way to the upside. So uh, I don't know if it's going to go uh, uh, for a retracement at this point, right? It may not. It may not, to be honest with you. Uh, the the pressure is to the upside, uh, pretty uh, pretty big, right? And uh, 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 this candle right now, daily candle, we just started the day at five o'clock, right? And the previous day candle is very very powerful, big candle. Uh, you can move, uh, make it a little bit bigger and see, like this is how it is now. See that? So uh, a nice big move to the upside. So let's see, let's see how it goes. Uh, like I said, uh, this is uh, the next target is this, and then if we break that, uh, then uh, you know it's right now sitting at here. Uh, this number sixty four five fifty. So I really don't know, or to be honest with you, that if it we, we are going to go uh, for a retracement. If that's so, then we will have it, no problem, right? But be careful. We have a pretty decent move uh, to the upside. You see this on a forty minute chart. You can see it's like a big move to the upside, right? So, uh, you know, retracement is imminent. And uh, when is it going to come? We have no idea, right? So this area might hold this number 64,494 or maybe 65,499. It will go a little bit more to the upside and then hopefully we will get a retracement, right? So this is how this Bitcoin is right now. It's flying. And uh, my charts, you know, it's like pretty good. Uh, so far, this was the chart I made that we're going to be going to the upside. And so far, we are like this. Pretty big move, powerful move to the upside, right? So this is it for now. And uh, hopefully, uh, I will talk to you guys in the next video, maybe about gold. All right? So bye for now and talk to you guys there. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the, the YouTube channel so you can get my videos on time. Okay, all uh, right.